everybody. <clears throat> Welcome back to the Attempters. I had to go through that entire dialogue again, by the way, just to get up to this part and fight him again. Whoopee! Hope I don't have to do that again! Because that'll suck. But yeah, we gotta... We, f we gotta fight this no, no good varmint. We gotta beat him up! We gotta make sure he doesn't kill us like last time. Also, sorry about last time because my dad had to come pick me up so I could go do some work for him and I completely forgot about that. I was trying to get in some recording before he got here, but I didn't know he was going to get here so quickly. I still got two episodes done before he got here, though, so that's good. I'm going to beat you up. Needle gun. Don't you needle gun me, homie. How needle gun you in the butt? Dying looks kind of cool. I wonder if there's fan fiction of him, uh, of of him, uh, uh, like, uh, um, not dying and joining us. I wonder how the story would have gone if he didn't kill himself. I mean, he really didn't have to. <laughs> he just wanted to. I, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, spoiler alert on a game that's like 25 years old. Fuck off. You know he dies. So do I. I'm just showing you how I play this game. I don't do... Molotov cocktail. Don't kill me. Don't you kill me now. I'll be upset. Oh, good. He's dead. Ha ha! Fuck you. He has a cool design, though. I like his, um... I like his sprite. They definitely make him look better than all the other characters. They make him look like he could be a character. I like that. Ah! Bat! It wasn't just my arm back then. I lost something irreplaceable. I don't know where I went wrong. Dying. I don't know either, man. Is this the only way we can resolve this? I told you. I want to destroy everything. Everything in this crazy world, even me. And what about Marlene? What's going to happen to her? Think about it, no job. How old, what old was Marlene back then? Even if I did go to her now, she wouldn't even know me. And what's more, no job. These hands are a little too stained to carry Marlene no more. No job. Give that pendant to Marlene. It was Eleanor's. My wife's memento. All right. Wow. Marlene's already full. No job. Don't make... Don't ever make Marlene cry. Done! 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 Dan, me and you were the same. My hands ain't any cleaner. I should have been the one to carry Marlene either. I'm a terrible voice actor, by the way. Did I mention that? Did I mention how terrible of a voice actor I am? Because I am. Hi, sir. 
You want something? I want to go up. Like I told you before, you got to get the boss's permission. Then win the chocobo. Dan's got his reasons and can't speak. So I got this instead. Yeah, boo. I want to go up. Right. Did you kill Dine? You must have. We never be holding that thing. Dine's dead. Maybe now this place will calm down a little. Dine didn't care who anyone was. The hell do you know? Right, right. I mean, no, I don't know anything. Sorry. Then will you get us out of here? Huh? Oh man, you guys are mistaken. I already told you. There's only one way to get out of here. That's to win the Chocobo race. And that's held there in the gold saucer. And only one racer can go up at a time. Say what? No, really. Even if you threaten me. A rule's a rule. I can't change it. If I do, the whole system down here will get messed up. And I can't do that. Okay. 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 I'll let one go up there. And after that, he got to deal with deal. Alright then. Mr. Biggles, you go. We'll wait down here. Hurry up and win that chocobo race. And get us out of here. Well, Mr. Biggles, go get him. <laughs> yeah, why not? Have you decided? All you need now is a manager. And registered. And get a chocobo. Hi. I happen to hear your story. Esther. I'll be your manager. Well, I have nothing against it, but... This is Esther. She may look kind of funny. But there's no better manager in races. That's so rude. Yeah, well, nice to meet you too, Mr. Biggles. All right, then, Mr. Biggles. <laughs> I keep forgetting that his stupid name is Mr. Biggles. I'll send you up to the elevator. Esther will fill you out in one of the details. Cool. Wee, we're going up an elevator. Wee. Hmm, so that's what happened. I'll talk to Dio directly. You just concentrate on the race. Oh yeah, getting back to the other thing. There are many different types of chocobo jockeys. It's not only for criminals. Some people compete for the fame. Some people compete for the money. Some only for glory. And then there's people like you. Oh yeah, I'll teach you how to ride a chocobo. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, first, use the select button to choose either auto or manual. In, in other words, either you control the chocobo or let it run on its own. It's pretty hard to make the chocobo run the way you want it to. If the chocobo doesn't like you, it won't <coughs> listen. You can't really help on this one. But most of the chocobos that, that I'll provide you with are mellow and you should be able to handle them. When you're riding, use the square button to speed up and the X button to slow down. But if you go faster than the chocobo can handle, it'll lose stamina really fast. Alright. And then use the directional buttons to stick a dick right in your butt. Okay. Move the chocobo, blah, blah, blah. Of course, your stamina runs out. I shouldn't have 
Shouldn't have said anything. There are some bad temper chocobos that can't pace themselves and they'll lose their stem. I, I regret asking. For those kinds of chocobos, you should set the controls to manual and slow it down. Finally, some advice for the restless. Once the first and second chocobos cross the goal line, to end the race. Okay, whatever. That's cool. Wee! There's a material right there. Don't forget it. You knew? Hi, Joe. Hey, Esther. You're looking pretty as usual. Thanks. Or thanks. Let me introduce you, Mr. Biggles. This is Joe, one of the top Chocobo jockeys. His name is, his full name is Joe Mama. Nice to meet you, Mr. Biggles. If you're with Esther, then... Right! He's up and coming jockey. He's only been down here for a day. And already he made it up here. What? Oh, I see. So what did you do down there? Sorry, you're not supposed to ask about the past here. Pretty interesting. I have a feeling that we'll meet again. And until we meet again, Mr. Biggles. Thanks, Joe. I'm gonna check on the chocobo. You must wait here for a while. Okay, that's cool, whatever. I'm just gonna go get that. Material real quick. Uh, Runma! Ha ha! Hey, what up, buddy? I got nothing to say. Alright, well, that's a dick thing to do. Oh, he ain't got nothing to say either. Yay! Okay, that's cool. Let's get it over with. Okay. Whatever you what whatever you say, buddies. Let's go. Can I, can I leave? Let me leave. I want to leave with them. Why can't I? Mr. Biggles. Yo, what up? Thanks for waiting. I registered you in the next race. Cool. I really want to see how they fucking do this in the remake. I've already played the first part of the remake, and it was good, man. Especially that last boss. That last boss had me on edge of the, the edge of the seat. I still got to beat most of it on hard mode. I've beaten most of it on hard mode, but some of the bosses are just too fucking annoying on hard mode. But, uh, I, yeah, I'm pretty much almost done with it. I'm going to try to complete it, but some of those summon bosses are ridiculous to beat, too. Oh, yeah. You know how to ride one. Uh, yeah, you just told me. I, I'm good. Good then good luck. Good luck to you. I don't need luck. I make my own. Wait, wait, what? Why isn't he? I'm pressing square like it's supposed to. Oh, no, I'm supposed to press circle, not square. And you have to hold it. I didn't know that. Yay! Look at the clam. The clam chowder. How do I... I know there was a way to up their health, but how? Oh, good. I'm, I'm going to lose. <laughs> I'm going to lose. There's no way I'm going to stay in first now. Wait, how do I... I know there's a way to... To up the... Uh, dude, do it. Do it. Did I really forget how to do this already? She just told me how to do it. Okay, I'm I'm confused. I'm holding it, but the energy's not going up. Why is the energy not going up? 
Okay, good. You already won. That, that's cool. My stupid chocobo lost all his energy somehow. Don't know how that happened. This has never happened to me on this part of the game. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Is my square button broken? He needs to, like, walk regular and not use up so much fucking stamina. <laughs> Good boy. I think it's working now. We all right. Now they're just I they probably put it on easy mode for me now. They're like, "Oh man, this guy sucks." <laughs> okay, I'm going to put it in manual now and fucking run. Cuz there's no way they can catch up to me if I run now. We Okay, probably should leave it there though. Why is it still going down though? I don't understand. Woohoo! The music is good though. Hey, guess what, guys? I'm first place! Okay, there we go. Press start. I'm pressing start and it's not working. I'm pressing fucking start. They said I can end the race when I press start. Oh, do I have to wait for the second guy to come in? Is that what it is? Congratulations! Now you're home free! Oh yeah, the owner told me to give you this letter to you when you won. Thanks, Esther. Dio. Boy, if you're reading this letter, then you must have won. And won a victory that I'm sure you earned. No, not really. I had to fucking do it twice. I heard about dying from Esther. Now that you are victorious, I promise that you and all your friends will get a full pardon. And you will all be set free. And also, by way of apology, I prepared a little gift for you to use on your journey. Sorry I couldn't be there to tell you this in person. But I'm very busy man. Sincerely, Dio. A gift? A gift? Somebody calling me on my cell phone. Who is it? Mr. Biggles, isn't this great? The assistant manager stopped by and dropped off a buggy for you. That's, uh, that's cool. Thanks. Now you can go over deserts and rivers? No problem. Okay, Mr. Biggles. I'll be waiting outside. Hmm. The letter continues. P.S. I just recently met Sephiroth. You must have had a lot of fans with boys your age. Why don't you get his autograph? It seems he's headed towards the south of the river. Towards Gongaga. I just recently figured out how to pronounce that. <laughs> I guess this is goodbye. Yeah, well, if you ever get your own racing chocobo, come back again. I'll take care of your registration and everything. God damn, I hate fireworks. That's going to be annoying me all fucking night, dude. Hmm, who do we want? Who do we want? Christ on a carrot. You know what? I don't really use uh, um, uh, Kate Sith very much. So I'm going to use Kate Sith. Yay, the sounds of b bullshit. And now we have a buggy. Alright, I get it. I know how to use a buggy. I get it. I get it. Good. Okay. They basically just told you you could go back to Castle de Sol if you want. And that's what we're gonna do. Wee. Wee. Hee. Alright. All right, we're going to save, though. So, we'll... This is the end of the episode. So, we'll see you next time, boys and girls. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. Follow me on Twitch. And I will see you in the next round. My precious, precious cakes. Bye-bye!